Lou Gehrig's disease, also known as ALS, is a condition that slowly robs you and your ability to move, eat, or even breathe. A related condition called frontal temporal dementia, or FTD, causes severe personality changes. Both diseases are fatal because they cause cells in your brain to die. For years, scientists have been searching for a reason as to why this happens. A discovery at the Mayo Clinic offers some answers and new hope for the future treatment of these diseases. In this lab, Dr. Rosa Rademakers and her team have been on a quest to find a cause of two deadly diseases, Lou Gehrig's disease, or ALS, and frontotemporal dementia, or FTD, which is a type of dementia unlike Alzheimer's disease in that it causes personality changes, not memory loss. It was really a kind of a race to try and find this. For four years, they studied the genetic information of families who had ALS and FTD. One day we were looking at the computer screen and all of a sudden there was this special pattern that was only present in the patients and not present in the healthy individuals and at that moment we knew that this was very likely to be it. A never before seen genetic mutation. And you can see that this pattern here where the peaks are big and then they're small, this, this strange pattern that is not present in the two healthy individuals. Dr. Rademacher says before her discovery there were some genes found that were thought to cause about 20 percent of all ALS and FTD cases, but her discovery explains even more, up to half of all ALS cases and about one-third of all FTD cases. Every time we identify a new gene, we understand a little bit more about what it is that's causing um, the disease in these patients, what it is that, it, that makes these brain cells die. Dr. Rademacher says this discovery will open avenues of research that may one day lead to effective therapies to help improve and prolong the lives of victims of these diseases. Our hope is that we find um, methods to identify who uh, will develop the disease so that we can interfere with it before it's too late, before the uh, important brain cells have died. For Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams. Dr. Rademacher says his initial discovery did not follow up research to make sure their findings were accurate. She is hopeful that this scientific contribution will help other researchers develop ways to fight these deadly diseases. And now a recap of the headlines. BVI International Finance Center launches a website in response to international media attacks. Premier Smith defends the BVI again from another UK newspaper article. Police Commissioner tells JTV News the police are taking positive action following unusual home invasions. Financial Investigation Agency Workshop reveals to nonprofit organization that they must maintain financial security of the territory. Premier Smith lists deficiencies in the manner major contracts were procured, approved and awarded during 2011. Agriculture Minister tells farmers there has never been a more pressing need to diversify the local economy. Dr. Marcia Pato warns that too many young people are ill-prepared for the workforce. And creative and inspiring crafts by seniors on display during this month. In news from the Caribbean, Cayman Islands criticizes Britain's latest move to crack down on financial centers in overseas territories. And the U.S. joins Venezuela's opposition in calling for a recount of votes, but the Chief Justice says manual recount is not possible. Remember, you can watch this entire newscast on our website, jtvlive.net. You can also get updated on latest news, press conferences, government and community events, as well as JTV's television programs on jtvlive.net. We welcome your questions and comments. You can email us at jtvnews at hotmail.com. I'm Mino Soman. Thank you for watching. Wardrobe provided by Umi Fashions.